Feedback. Feedback can be the most important thing in your life, the most important thing in getting a successful qualification to help your life. You don't just get feedback, though. Feedback isn't feedback unless you've used it. Feedback isn't something that's given to you, it's a dialogue. You've got to do something with it for it to start helping your head to make sense of what you've done before, and in particular, how to do it better. Some feedback you'll get as written comments, printed comments, on-screen comments. They'll be sometimes critical, sometimes positive about what you've done, but it's very important, if it's critical, not to get defensive. Because if you get defensive, you actually don't take it in. Feedback is sometimes worth look, looking at a day after or two days after you've got it, when you've come down to earth again and can take note of the things that have been said, if it's critical. Feedback that's positive, feedback that's praise, don't stop yourself from swelling with pride. That's positive, that's good. That's things to do again, things to do next time, things to improve on. Now, feedback comes in all sorts of forms, written, printed, etc., but also face-to-face -face from lectures, face-to-face -face from tutors, face-to-face -face from other people around you. Feedback can come from anyone. It mightn't all be as authoritative as it would be from the person who is marking your work, but it can give other angles of things that you haven't thought about what you try to do. The more feedback you get and the more feedback you use, the more you know how your head is making sense of what you're trying to do, which bits you're on top of, which bits you need a bit more at, which bits to revisit, which bits to practice. Feedback is so important that don't, uh, don't never use it. Don't Make sure you always actually use it. Make sure you seek feedback. Make sure you get feedback from everybody around you. It's quite good to actually ask for people, how do you think I'm doing? Or what do you think the, bet, the best bit of what I did was? What do you like best? What could I improve on? What did you not like and why? And when asking questions like this, always listen. You might be disappointed, you might be pleased, but continue listening to the answers. The more you find out about feedback, about how your work is going and how you can improve it, the better. But don't just lose feedback. One of the dangers is, having made sense of some feedback, you forget what learning points you took from it. It's quite useful to make some sort of log, written log, electronic log, of feedback points and what you wanted to do about it, the action you planned to take about it. And to look at that from time to time, saying, ah oh yes, I haven't done that yet, or that worked, I'll do that again next time. The more you actually learn how you react to feedback, the more you can use it positively and assure your future.